What's up everybody, Brian Tong here and Google I.O. is just a few days away. So this is really gonna be everything that we expect to see at Google I.O. 2019 if it hasn't been leaked already. So this keynote is always focused on the future of Google software from Android to the Google Assistant and their other apps and services. It's no secret, Google's Pixel 3a and larger Pixel 3a XL will be their new mid-range phones. And when I say it's no secret, hey, uh, we're already out in the open for display at a Best Buy in Ohio. Now, they start at $399 for the 3A's 5.6-inch screen and $479 for the XL's 6-inch screen. Camera quality is expected to be pretty much the same as the Pixel 3, but they're really working to lower the price by using a less powerful processor, changing from a glass build to plastic, and then getting rid of wireless charging as a whole, but bringing back the headphone jack because that is so mid-range. I mean, that should be in every phone still, if you ask me. Now, if we're talking phones at the top, we also have to talk about Android Q, and it's had a few beta releases, and some of the smaller features they've revealed is a system-level dark-ish mode that can help you save battery. You can quickly see your remaining battery life when you pull down the quick settings. There's more specific location access for apps, similar to what we've seen in iOS, and then more customization for the actual OS's theme, which is sweet. These aren't earth shattering features, but you've got to expect that they're holding back for Google IO. All right, other reports say Google is working on better gesture navigation on its Pixel phones. There could be signs of a Samsung Dex like desktop mode when you plug your phone into a display, but Google has surprised us in the past, so I'm just looking forward to more surprises this year as well. I'm also curious to see what's going on with the Google Assistant. We know Amazon's Alexa platform, it may be more compatible with more devices, but Google still has the smartest AI out of anyone, and I wanna see how it gets even smarter. It honestly can, and maybe even more powerful. Let's let's throw in Google Lens there, and let's try to integrate that more on a system level in Android OS, instead of it being its own little feature in an app on the side that you have to hunt for to use. So, Assistant, Lens, amp that up, and what about the next generation of Google's creepy, but super cool calling assistant duplex that was really the highlight of last year now this time i want to see more like an actual live demo not some pre-recorded thing like a real-time live demo or you know maybe they've got even bigger tricks up their sleeve i also you know for this past year i thought the google home hub was a clean and thoughtful product last year i like the fact that it didn't have a camera for what it was and it doesn't mean it was a gangbuster seller but i thought it was a good experience well now google itself is responsible for leaking a new hub on their own website uh, might be called the Nest Hub Max that will have a 10 inch HD display, a built in camera and stereo speakers. It sounds like their full size competitor to the current 10 inch Echo Show, but it also could differentiate itself by having a Nest security camera in the actual hub because if you do that, now you've got my attention and it would really set it apart from anything else that's out there. So we'll see if it's a real product with new improvements to the Google Assistant likely coming to the Home Hub and then blending this with the Nest. So this Nest Home Hub, it could be really interesting. Now Wear OS might see a quick acknowledgement, but they just announced before this keynote that it will be getting a new feature for glanceable widgets that you can swipe between one another called tiles. I think the biggest issue here is Google actually needs a flagship watch to showcase their software on it. You know, they figured it out that they need to make their own hardware and software for the phone and need to do it for the watch because there has been nothing compelling enough for me to even consider for a split second an Android watch at all. You know, the phones, you're like, man, Google Android looks really good, but for the watch, it hasn't even been a thought in my mind. Now, there's also Google Stadia out there. It's their streaming gaming platform that's still expected to arrive this year. They talked about it earlier at GDC. It's promising a lot of lofty things with 4K, 60 frames per second, HDR gaming with a high quality internet connection, but maybe we'll get more details about it with E3 coming around though, coming right around the corner, maybe we won't. So that's kind of like all the things that are on my mind. And that's really gonna do it for this video. Just some of the big tent pole features, software, and a little bit of hardware that we expect to see at this event. Now, just in case you wanna know, I'll be holding my own live stream of the Google IO Kino right here on my YouTube page. Tuesday, May the 7th, I'll be starting at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. The keynote starts at 10 a.m. Pacific, and I'll be taking your live calls and comments, and we'll just watch along together and talk all about it afterwards because I know how many of you love that, and we will both have many thoughts. 
All right, thanks so much for watching. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you soon. Google I.O. coming soon. Peace.